In today's video I would like to go through a drawing construction tutorial and I will be using a stair as an object. In this specific tutorial I wanted to show how I would make this 3D perspective from scratch. Now the reason why this approach is good is because it allows us to sort of practice the 3D construction skills that we can then later use for actual sketches. So to begin we'll enable the grid and I will simply start to draw a plan of the stair. Then I'd like to show the steps. Each of these will represent a one meter distance. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to turn the stair 45 degrees. Then I will draw what's called a picture frame, just at the tip of the stair. So for the next part I'll draw two lines at 90 degrees and I will turn these lines 45 degrees to match the rotation of the stair. This way we're gonna get our stanchion point which will be located over here and the stanchion point is basically a point where a person or the viewer is standing looking into the object. Now we can also mark up our vanishing points at either side and lastly what I would like to do is I'd like to pull two lines from each of these corners towards the stanchion point. Next we'll draw a horizon will project the vanishing points down. We kind of have to imagine that this plane here in red is actually, we're looking at it like this. So it's perpendicular to the face of the iPad and the person who is standing here is looking directly onto that plane. So over here, where we have the horizon line, we're actually turning picture plane like so. And therefore what we need to project is these lines that are on the picture plane down to the horizon line. So everything that touches the picture plane must be projected down. Now at this point what also would be useful is to get the height of the stair. Now as you remember the stair was about 3 meters long. It's gonna be about 3 meters high. There's a couple of options how we can go about marking the height. I prefer to do this. I create a new layer and then I simply trace the edge of the stair and I mark divisions. Turn it back 45 degrees and then move it over here. Now we're gonna have our viewpoint quite low so it's only gonna be at about half a meter from the floor just so that we can show our stair in like the nicest possible way. So now we can project the height. This is our basic stairwell construction. I'm also just gonna mark up where the floor is relative to it. And I'm also gonna locate the center point of this well by drawing a cross like this and then placing our projection line in the center of it. Now I'd like to show my landing. So I'll use the same method as before, projecting the landing from the plan onto the picture frame and then projecting it down. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna construct the landing at the back. So pull this line at the back and the front edge. You know, this is the front face of the stairwell. And that's my back face. Then that must be the point where that's the back of the stairwell, basically. If I project it up, it should give me the back of the stairwell. At this point, what I wanna do is I wanna locate the center of the landings. And I also wanna locate the bottom and join those two points together. And that effectively will give me my first run. Similarly, I can then connect it up above, same way, connect with the top. Now we can start projecting our steps towards the stanchion point as well. Okay, and so here, every time it meets the red line, these lines meet the red lines, that's where our steps are gonna be on this landing surface. can delete all the redundant lines and then we'll similarly project lines from the top to this face as well in the same way. Now let's just trace over what we have here to achieve kind of clear and crisper lines. Okay, so now it's time to put some handrails on. So to get approximately one meter for the handrail, which is the requirement, probably need to have one, two, three, four, five steps of clearance from the ground. And where it intersect at the starting point of our handrail. And the same thing up there, two, three, four, five. And here we can't obviously count these five risers because they're not on the same plane. So what we can do is simply project from this one over there and put it towards the back too. Let's find the kind of the back point of the landing and that's another point for a handrail. So we have 
to at the back and then similarly the way we found this point here from the middle point there we can find this one as well. Now the trouble is that I cannot actually locate the handrail height over here because I don't have treads that are kind of coming from the first floor. So what I can do instead is I can actually just take this dimension here and simply move it up. So if it's one meter here, it'll be one meter there because they're on the same plane. To just connect that's kind of it that's the base geometry sorted gonna put some thickness here a couple more posts in the middle and then I'm also gonna I'm gonna have kind of gonna eyeball the middle post so that I can have another run I'm gonna have one final trace over the treads and also gonna give the thickness to the stair itself. So for some context, we can also put the environment in which the stair is in. Finally, gonna give it one last trace. Just gonna reduce the opacity of these back lines for the glazing at the back. Just kind of lessen your face. And I'm also gonna add color to the handrails. So I finally added some color and texture. To, to pop this stair a little bit into life. So I hope this was somewhat useful. I actually made another tutorial uh, on how to construct a one point perspective of a room, of a kitchen room that I'm gonna be putting somewhere here. So make sure you check that one out and I'll see you in the next video.